looking at the woman who used to write those crazy Cosmo cover lines, like, mattress moves so hot, his thighs will go up in flames. <laughs> yep, <laughs> that was me. If there's one thing I've learned, building my own brand, working in media, running the largest magazine in the world for 14 years in the rough and tumble land of New York publishing, it's that good girls don't get ahead. I really uh, got my attention raised when you said there's, you know, we all know that colleague at work who maybe rhymes with which. Yeah, you yeah. say people need to get in touch with their envy of those people. Yes, you, you think you just you can't stand her because she brown noses the boss or she brags, but really it's because she's doing something you should be doing. So you've got to think, hey, I want some of what she's having. Why do we need so many books, career books, to tell us still how to get ahead? I find that so many young women tell me that they know um, instinctively and from talking to other women that they need to ask, that they need to raise their hand, but they, they, they clutch at the moment it comes to do. It. I once heard a very famous woman in the magazine business, Helen Gurley Brown, say to me, the difference between successful people and unsuccessful ones is that successful people just work harder. I don't believe that. I think hard work is part of the equation, but when I look at my achievements and those of so many successful people I've met, it always comes down to going big or going home. Now look, I know it's hard to go big, and I had a tough time with it when I was in my 20s. I had some gutsy instincts, but like a lot of us, I was afraid about how I would be perceived if I went big. And you know what else you need to ask for? Opportunities. You need to approach your boss and ask to take on special projects that will solve problems for him or her, make him or her look good, strengthen your strengths, and ready you for promotion. And if none exists, create them. Ask yourself, what's missing? What problem could I solve here? You don't have to be 100% ready. Now, someone mentioned a study earlier that is actually mentioned in Lean In, that women think they have to be 100% ready to go for something, and guys think they have to be 60%. It turns out there actually is no such study. It was simply extrapolated from a comment a guy at McKinsey said. But you know what, he's 100% right. My best advice to you is start before you're ready. The next time you have an amazing opportunity present itself for you, let your motto be not ready, aim, fire, but aim, fire, ready. The rumble starts here right now with all of us. I'm Kate White. Let's go big or go home. <laughs>